I went on a weekend trip to Tanzania. A trip I never imagined I'll be able to do so since it was my first ever country to visit. It has always been my dream to travel around the world and to experience different cultures, different ways of living, and make myself uncomfortable as I learn and grow as a person. We are in a very remote part of the planet right now, experiencing something very, very few people get to experience. It's raw and it's full of an adventure and it's very, very beautiful. Uh, right now we are in the northern part of Tanzania, near the banks of Lake Yasi. It is home to the Hadzabe tribe. Ka, 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 ka. Sit down, ka, ka. The Hadzabes are a small tribe of hunters and gatherers living by Lake Eyasi in Tanzania, Africa. They are some of the last true hunters and gatherers left on planet Earth. The only place where you can get to uh, meet the Hazabe people is near Lake Eyasi. The lake is located in the northern region of Tanzania, approximately an hour's drive away from Karatu, a small town that's considered to be the gateway to the Ngorongoro creator. This way here we want to go see another tribe in uh, Mongolia. Okay. We can't remember the name here. So. So guys right now we are negotiating the border border fares. Uh they want ten thousand uh Tanzanian shillings but uh we are negotiating it, we want it to be uh eight thousand Tanzanian shilling. So we have this guy uh who is helping me uh negotiate the fares with the border borders that uh, will be taking us uh to the remote area where the Hadza tribe uh live. Yeah, so let's wait and see if uh they'll accept the eight thousand Tanzanian shillings, which is about uh four hundred Kenyan shillings that is uh four dollars. Yeah, so guys, we're here, we're ready to leave. We're just still preparing. I have this on. Uh, I've just been given here by a local. I've been given this that I need to put on my hair, to cover my hair so that since we are going with the border border with the piki piki, na kuna vumbi nyingi kwa hiyo njia, so no, isiende kwa nyuele. Yeah, can't wait for this adventure. Yeah, so let's go. If you are watching this video for the first time, kindly consider subscribing, give this video a like, and comment down below what you think. And let's have fun, learn, and grow together. If you are a returning subscriber, you are probably here for the same same reason.
It is also close to Olduvai Gorge, one of the most important prehistoric sites in the world, where Homo habilis, one of the earliest members of the genius Homo, was discovered to have lived 1.9 million years ago. Well, so guys, you're finally here. And then we have to walk. I did tricky. So, let's walk. Hey, I'm going to go to the mall. I'm black, but in a white right now. Hey, to wash on a vumbi. Sana. And if you want to white. Uh, so guys we are here and uh, you can uh, actually hear from afar the local guide uh, trying to communicate with them just to get to know where they are so that we can go there <laughs> They are saying hello in their language. Just hi, how are you doing and all that? <laughs> they speak Hazani, a language that uses clicks. <laughs> Clicking languages are only heard in Africa and are one of the oldest languages in the world. I'll be spending the day with the Hadzabe tribe to see exactly how they live in the wilderness of Tanzania, Africa. Just to experience their real way of life. He's a good hunter. Uh, what are they roasting? They're roasting guinea pig meat. And uh, where are the females? I can only see the males right here. Have you heard the children crying on the other side? Yeah, that's where the females are. They don't actually spend time together. The work of the men is to hunt and then uh, the work of the women is to gather wild fruits. They create temporary shelters of dry grass and branches like this, which they sleep in uh, during a uh, dry season. And uh, they also sleep under a baobab tree like this uh, during the wet season or the rainy season. The clusters. Oh. We have more than 11 clusters for Azadi. Oh, okay. So we have a big group, like 20 people. But the same, we have like a 7, 8, 5 family. Mm. Yeah. But Azadi is a monogamy. Oh, okay. The men within the family, within the tribe, like Azadi to Azadi. Oh. So they, they don't intermarry with the other tribe. Oh. 
Also, they use a dog for hunting. Where is it? <laughs> just I want I just want to see. Oh, oh, oh. No, I've never tested. I don't think I've ever seen it. This is a tribe of people whose history and culture are rooted in the land. People whose way of life is so uniquely different from your own. You want a little you? Same or Takila Kalimu, who communicate Ila Ichako Bami. There's a god, I miss you, Gweko Tabami, a summer. A Uzame Kobeza. Oh, 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 I got you on a dig dig here. Quite a grab a day. In a quiet That's it from the Neko, Tomoko, <laughs> 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 Ama akana be ma tekele tekele gangida 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 akwaza ba tele si me ono aba mi ba bu opun ona akwaza ba ono pele si le pele si aya akwaza aya ono ko ono ko ono ko ono akana be akana be ehe ina la ko Yuli, 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 Anoko, Akanabe, Igilaka, Onoko, say, eh? Sema, Yuli, Onoko, Sema, Ivo, Onoko, Onoko, Akanabe, Akalabe, eh, Yuli, Akwaza Baba, Onoko, Akolabe, Yuli, Baba, Ono, during the rain season, we are going to be in the rain season. We are going to be when mama or father deliver the babies, they have to use this power. The Hadza survive by hunting their food with handmade bows and arrows. Their diet consists of meat, fat, 
honey and plant based This is our life. This is how we live. We survive by hunting and gathering wild fruits. When we get lucky and hunt a big animal, we gather around, light a fire, and share together. But when we hunt a small animal, like the legs of the squirrel, we protect the bush, roast it, and share it among us who are hunting. <laughs> Listening to them speaking is really an experience by itself. And if you try to twist your tongue like they do, you realize how different and difficult the language is from what we know.
Kau suka kau 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 suka kau 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 Kalimu, akasume. Kalimu, akasume. Akasume. Zebra. Kalimu akasume a beke tete beke tete wanyama kali kama wanyama kubwa tutumikisho ndio they still make fire with sticks and wood. The Hadza are avid marijuana smokers, often uh, beginning and ending the day with a joint that they pass around the fire. Okay, <laughs> 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 Otherwise, for Sabu, Najon and Gum, Pata is a dry, oh, you're taking the rain season. 
Sana para isi ko na. Harus. Ate kom ayah misa misa. Harus kerum tak tak kujari buku. Kita <laughs> They also use it as soap to wash their hands. You can also use it to wash your clothes. It softens and smoothes your skin to become like a newborn skin. As you can see, it's soft, smooth, and oily. And it's also a bit soapy. Uh, so guys, we can decide uh, to meet the women and the children. Uh, during the day, they don't uh, spend together. So we have the women here and the children. Let's meet them. There is a division of labor between the men and the women. Men are the hunters and women are the gatherers. The work of the women is to take care of the kids, fetch water, cook and also build the dried grass houses as the men go hunting <laughs> They live in harmony with each other. Families, in-laws and friends live together in camps of about 20 to 30 members as a peaceful community. Everyone helps raise the children cooperatively. The Hazaba love all children born into the tribe as their own. The Hadzabes eat the baobab tree fruits commonly known as mabuyu, mbuyu. They crush the seeds to get oil that is mixed or cooked in porridge. It is believed to keep them healthy. They also mix the mbuyu with honey that becomes a delicious meal. They make the arrows and the bows. As you can see, they are very many and they are very, very beautiful. They can either sell them to the tourists uh, who come visit or they exchange them uh, with the goods uh, from other tribes. Samada <laughs> 
One of the amazing things about visiting Tanzania is being able to experience different cultures and immerse yourself in the African life. These are some of the last hunters and gatherers on the planet and they live traditionally and I'm so fortunate to experience myself and share this experience with you. There are only 1,200 left and out of those, only 400 still live purely on what they hunt and gather. We were lucky to meet some of these rare few. I'm so excited to have experienced this and share with you this rare glimpse on how we all used to live. Ah. <laughs> 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 Bamiya, <laughs> <laughs> 